I saw the film and before I even saw the film, the first time I saw a little uh, snippet in the theater, I literally screamed because I, I love beating up Nazis. Could you tell me the inspiration <laughs> for the movie? Sorry, I didn't hear your question because I was laughing. <laughs> I love beating up Nazis. And so when I fought, saw the first uh, snippet in the theaters, I became incredibly excited. Can you tell me about the inspiration for the story idea? The inspiration is behind me, like First Blood. I love that kind of films. And I always wanted to do an action film uh, in Finland, uh, which like was thought it's almost impossible because then no one is making action films here in Finland. And, and uh, so I've been wanting to do this since I was something like 12. Uh, so I'm really lucky to be here now with, with Sisu and how well it is received like everywhere. So I'm happy. I was super happy. Um, I love the title of the film, Sisu. And I liked how you um, put in the uh, dictionary meaning of it as well as putting it in the film. Um, did you sort of tweak that a little bit from when you wrote the script to when you had the cast and you were directing? Uh, uh, a tweak what? I didn't understand. Oh, yes, sorry. Um, as an American, I'm not familiar with that word. And so yeah. when I first started talking about the film, uh, people from your country sort of corrected me on the proper uh, way to say it. And then when I saw the film, you guys put, you put in a dictionary description of what mm -hmm. the word meant, and then you used it in the movie. And mm. so I was wondering, since I think it's a word that's semi-familiar where you're from, after you started filming it, did you think to yourself, oh, I might need to sort of uh, let non-natives know what the word means? Yeah, of course, everyone in Finland knows what it means, but of course, no one has seen like a film about CISO. So that's kind of like my vision of what I think Sisu means. And uh, I almost use it like a superpower in a way, even though it's really important, it's not a superpower because it doesn't make you immortal. It just make you like a guy who just refuses to die, like you say in the movie. Uh, but I think it's really cool to, to show the rest of the world what, what Sisu means. And I really enjoyed the performances of all the cast members. Um, Jorma and Axel. Jorma really is the center of the movie with his mm -hmm. Bedlington Terrier, who I thought was super cute. Um, and Axel, you did such a wonderful job of using their expressions and their body language to convey things. Because I was watching it and I thought you really didn't even need to have people speak your language or English because I understood everything that was going on with the way that you directed it. How challenging mm. was that to sort of get that interplay between your cast members? Uh, well, I don't know, was it hard because uh, everyone understood what we are doing and, and, uh, and the fact that we don't speak in the film, it, it automatically like creates I think like a better cinema because you are not explaining what's gonna happen or what's happening. You just have to show it and and it it, it really like it just it, it is it is a good way to do film and I'm, I'm even thinking of doing a film where there's no dialogue at all. And one of the things that I find fascinating is when someone wrote the script and they directed it. As you were writing mm -hmm. it, I'm sure you were picturing in your mind how things were going to go. Did you, A, have an idea of who you wanted to cast in the roles? And B, while you're imagining all the um, fight scenes and the action, um, did you have to tweak, a, did you have to change it a little bit from 
your imagination to once you were filming it. Basically, all the action is there. Of course, there's small small things that change when when you get into the set or location and, and you have the actors there and, and you make the first rehearsal and do you understand that, okay, this is gonna happen now a little bit differently because if something doesn't work or I, I have a better idea while doing it, but but the main action stuff, the, like the inventive ways of surviving or killing the Nazis, they were, were already in the script and they, uh, I'm really glad how they actually turned out to be like exactly like I imagined it in the first hand. Now they say it's always difficult to work with children and animals and you had two wonderful animal actors, the horse and the terrier Bellington. How was that directing them and getting them to do everything that you wanted them to do? I'm sure their trainers were on site but I know sometimes with animals, they don't always listen exactly. It was absolute hell. <laughs> like, uh, some of my worst days ever in the set were the days when I had to use the horse to try to, <laughs> trying to, because he, he really didn't want to be in the film, I think. <laughs> like, <laughs> It was really fucking terrifying at times. <laughs> I've written, and I do have to say, they are very strong-willed animals. Um, and what was one of your favorite scenes to shoot in the movie? I don't want to give anything away because it's unlike any action movie I've seen in a long time. And I was incredibly impressed with um, how you did um, the airplane scene and then... Um, um, the underwater scene, <laughs> but I don't want to give anything away. That is a cool scene, but it wasn't so fun to make. But what was fun to make, I think, were the easy, like the hanging scene in the gas station was really cool to shoot. I, I really enjoyed it, and 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 the she scene where Artemy finds the gold vein, and and when he first encounters the Nazis and rides past the whole Nazi squad. Uh, because at that point, I, I knew that we were doing something really cool because it, it started to look like a movie. And um, I am, I was fascinated by the women in the truck. It took a few minutes to realize what was going on with them. And it was, of course, horrifying. Um, I really enjoyed the um, empowerment moment that you gave them. Um, how was that writing it and then uh, directing the women on how um, to portray the emotions that they were feeling as the movie journeyed, on, as the movie went on? Well, one of the hardest casting uh stuff was was casting i you know the the lead female character uh i i made a casting tape with with basically all all the female actors in finland what i thought might might shoot for the role but when mimosa mimosa gave his uh casting tape it was clear to me that she's gonna be it because she really understood the uh, the feeling what I wanted to do, and uh, and I I think it's really cool to how well Mimosa is is doing it because he doesn't give a she doesn't give a fuck anymore. Like uh, she's probably gonna die. She knows it. Uh, so why don't just have some fun with it before you die and and scare the Nazis a little bit. And and when Artemi Artemi uh, comes to the women and basically uh, like in, invites them to join his like quest for killing all the Nazis. I think the fun starts from there really. And one final question. Um, if you were going to talk to a fan before they saw the film, what would be the first thing you'd say to them? Before they see the film. 
uh, prepare yourself a wild ride of massacring a lot of asshole Nazis. <laughs> it was a blast. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, it was a delightful film, well acted, and I love the dog. It's a new breed that I want to pet. <laughs>